Hey, welcome to Nourishable. I'm Dr. Lara. In this mini lecture, we are going to take a trip through the gastrointestinal tract to get an overview about digestion and absorption. <sighs> So the learning objectives for today's class are to describe the physiological processes of digestion and absorption. Um, we are going to identify the enzymes and hormones that act in digestion, and also understand the relationship between the structure and function of the digestive tract. Really, I'm hoping to get to you know inspire you with this sense of awe of this really beautiful structure function relationship we have between the anatomy and the physiology of our gastrointestinal tract. The overall question that we're asking in today's lecture is how is it that we actually get nutrition into us? How do we get food into us? Um, we have to make sure that we can get the food, break it down into small enough components that we can actually absorb it into our blood and turn it into us. Okay, so again, our big question, how do we get nutrition into us? Well, it is through our digestive system. There are six different processes that are part of digestion. The first is ingestion or the entry of food into the GI tract. The next is propulsion, which is gonna be movement through the GI tract. The third is mechanical breakdown. And mechanical breakdown is a really important step where we take the whole big food and we break it down into smaller pieces so that we can increase the surface area of the food. Um, and that's gonna be very important for the next step then, which is digestion. Digestion is the actual chemical breakdown of the food into its individual building blocks. So taking these big macronutrients and breaking them down into individual building blocks that we can actually absorb. So then this uh, next process of digestion is of the absorption. Um, we have to be able to absorb these individual chemical building blocks of our nutrients across the lining of our intestine to actually get them into our blood. And then the final process of digestion is defecation or elimination of undigestible material. And now these first steps, the ingestion, propulsion, mechanical breakdown, that's gonna be you know, the same for all of the different um, macronutrients um, that we consume. Whereas the digestion, so that chemical breakdown with enzymes, as well as the absorption and defecation, those steps are all gonna be different depending on what nutrient we are talking about. So in today's lecture, it's gonna be really an overview, but then in subsequent lectures, we will dig into the real nitty gritty specifics about how we digest, absorb, and absorb these different kinds of macronutrients. So let's talk a little bit about the organization of the digestive system. So first we have the organs of the alimentary canal, also referred to as the GI tract. And really, when we get really simple about it, it's just a muscular tube that starts at the mouth and ends at the anus. So this muscular tube is continuous with the external environment. So while we may think about our intestines being very much inside, inside our viscera, actually the inside of our intestine is continuous with the external environment. The function of the uh, GI tract is to digest and absorb our nutrients um, and the different uh, components of the GI tract. We start in the mouth, we go through the pharynx, then the esophagus. The esophagus is going to attach to the stomach, a storage pouch, then it'll be continuous with the small intestine and then through the large intestine out through the anus. Now, though we've talked about this hollow tube, uh, this muscular tube that is the GI tract, we also have some other accessory organs that help in the process of the, uh, that help the processes of the digestive organs. So these are um, other organs that are going to assist in both the mechanical and chemical breakdown of food so that we can absorb it across our GI tract. So some of the accessory digestive organs are gonna be your teeth and your tongue in your mouth. These are very important for mechanical breakdown, as well as the salivary glands. They're gonna help with the kind of mechanical transport, but also they're gonna do some initial digestion of um, some carbohydrates. Then we have the liver and the gallbladder. The liver is responsible for producing bile. That's gonna be an important um, component that helps us digest our lipids. And then also the pancreas. The pancreas is going to produce a lovely cocktail of enzymes that will allow us to, um, to digest or chemically break down those macronutrients into its individual chemical building blocks. <laughs> 